Now here is a very important question which is asked in many many interviews. What are extension methods in C Sharp? When to use extension methods in real applications? That is even more important. As always, let's start to understand with the help of code. Here you can see a string test which value is hello world. Okay. Now you know a string is a class provided by .NET framework and this method like a substring which will get a string from the left position right so the value of this left string will be like hello okay now suppose in your application at multiple places we need a method which we which will get the string from the rightmost position so for example we need this method right substring this is the name of the method we need in this method we will pass the value 5 and it will get the last five characters of the string now we need this method but .NET string class do not provide or do not have any such kind of method. And we even can't add this method in the string class because we do not have the access of the string class, right? It is there somewhere in the base classes of the .NET framework. We do not have the code. So now how to add this method uh, write substring in the string class? The answer is with the help of extension methods. So see. Here is the code. First, we will create a string class a string extension and will define a write substring method inside it. Here, first in the first parameter, we will give the name of the class with this keyword for which we are adding the method. In our case, we are adding this extension method for a string class. That's why we have given here the name string. Okay, a string class. Then we will give other normal parameters of the method which the method will accept. So this count will receive 5 in our case like from above, above right. Then inside the method you can write the logic for getting the right 5 uh, characters from the string. Uh, I am not explaining the logic because the real purpose is to understand the extension method not the right substring logic here. That's it. You have added a new method in a string class without even modifying the actual string class so this method you have add added is not you have added in the actual string class right so that is the main purpose of uh, extension method now if you will print uh, write and run this program then the output will receive hello this is from the left string and world you will receive from the uh, uh, this right string okay so now any other developer can use this write substring exten extension method for a string class in the same project. Interesting, right? So the definition is extension method allows you to add new methods in the existing class without even modifying the source code of the original class. Okay, that is uh, that is the definition. But let's see uh, uh, some more th points about it. First is extension methods must be static uh, because this will directly called from the class name right you are not creating the object of the string class and then you are calling right they so that that's why this method should be static and since the method is st static therefore this class string extensions will be also static okay because why the class is static so if all the methods of a class are static then it's better to put the class itself as the static okay second point is about st uh, st action extension method is this keyword is used for binding this method with the main class so this uh, method uh, writes a string with the main string the original string class that binding will be done by this keyword okay if you are creating the extension method of some other class uh, ABC, then you must give the name of that class along with this keyword here. Finally, the use, what is the use of the extension method is use them when you want to add a method in a class which code you don't have, right? Like in this case, you don't have the code of a string class. Suppose there is a third party library for uh, that library class, you want to add some method in your own application. So you can extend that class and add one extension method for that class. So this is the use case. This is the real use case of the string. Oh, sorry, extension methods. Uh, that's the answer of the extension methods.